annoying. Now's the part of the show I'm not looking forward to, and I don't know why I decided to do this. So, what's her name? Gina Carano from The Mandalorian has been let go by Disney. Her contract, as I am aware, was already up, but they planned on bringing her back potentially in future seasons of The Mandalorian, and now they're not. There was also talk of giving her her own spinoff. You've seen that Disney Plus is doing a ton of Disney and Marvel shows. They were going to give her a spinoff, but she screwed it up by being a chud. So don't do that. Here's what she tweeted. Um, she tweeted... And I'm not joking. Is this tweet still up? Here it is. Uh, Gina is comparing being a conservative to being a Jew during the Holocaust. She thinks that cancel culture is literally the same as what Jewish people suffered during the Holocaust. She also made fun of pronouns by saying her pronouns are beep, boop, and bop. Um... Which even as a trans person was the lesser offense than the, the, the Holocaust comment. And then um, she did some right-wing voter fraud conspiracy. And also did some anti-mask stuff. All things that it makes sense to be fired for when your entire job, half of your job, is public relations as an actor. So, are we shocked? As it turns out, a lot of people are shocked. You know who's shocked? The quartering. <laughs> the quartering's not happy about this. The quartering did a super stream. No, sorry. He called it a mega stream. Apologies. With a bunch of other media chuds like Nerd Roddick and some other people. I think Doomcock is a part of this conversation. And they had a big old stream where they just whined about it. So let's see them whine about a right wing piece of shit getting fired. This is the first time I've used this software. Oh, let's get to the part where they actually get together just setting up my monitor so like it's a five hour long stream so surprise we're not watching the whole thing but i did want to check some of it out can you imagine doing a five hour long stream because someone got fired from their job for being a chud <laughs> and being mad about it oh that guy's an asshole i didn't him see it him and his his oh, uh probably his boss. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah what what did they say oh um but would you mind uh, letting people know a little nugget of, you know, wh how, what is uh, a rumor, just an, uh, you know, rumor. And by the way, I should say he has been right about many things in the past, including, um, and this is me speaking, not, you know, not, this isn't like a prepared. Um, it, it's, uh, he was right about the rise of Skywalker. Um, he's been right about a lot of other things that he wasn't. He was not. I believe they're talking about Doomcock, and they're also talking about some of these other fandom menace people who make up rumors, and then they're, like, wrong 99% of the time, but 1% of the time, the thing they say might at least partially come true. Or in the case of Rise of Skywalker, they get legitimate leaks that everyone had access to online for, like, weeks going up to the movie, and they're like, oh, you know everything! You have inside sources in Disney! It's very, very sad doesn't make this right but this isn't just some unsubstantiated rumor so it's that i assume they're going to talk about the rumor that disney's going to hire her back even though it's been like a day since she got fired even james gunn it took like three years for disney to hire him again and frankly james gunn is talented this lady isn't i've seen her act i've watched the mandalorian she's serviceable she's not that great what are you hearing um, about behind behind the scenes of it? Well, my folks have uh, said that everything that I reported in this last video has gotten three confirmations from different people. OK, uh -huh. now I can't independently verify it, so I'm still presenting it absolutely as rumor. Please. What a shock. He has a video over here that we were going to watch that. Uh, yeah, they say that Disney's reeling from the backlash. Are they going to uncancel? Out of curiosity, I went to go see how the Disney stock is doing in relation to this news. It's doing fine. Disney stock is fine. <laughs> Please take it with a grain of salt, but uh, ultimately, uh, Disney, the, 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 the gist of it is that this information was not to get, was not supposed to get out till later that that they did not want this announced just before their investor call 
<laughs> yeah, that, I can't imagine that they wanted that. Even the early confirmations were like an unnamed Lucasfilm source. Yep. So I was like, person. Well, it seems pretty yeah. strategic considering they announced that she's no longer with them. But then, oh, Pedro Pascal is what's his name from The Last of Us 2. Yeah, Pascal. yeah, yeah. And the yeah. way they worded it. Those are completely different companies. I don't think The Last of Us 2 is getting made by Disney. You think they coordinated? Is they didn't say we fired her. It made it sound like, well, her contract ran out. She no longer works with us anymore. Yeah, that's often how things work in Hollywood. She was contracted for the role that she did on The Mandalorian. And then they're just like, oh, you're bad for our public image, so we're not going to hire you anymore. And that spinoff we were talking about, we're not going to do it now. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it didn't work, and I don't think they were expecting quite this backlash, but... The what? No one cares! No one cares what a bunch of nerds on the internet think. <laughs> now, to be fair, no one gives a shit what I think either, at least not in the Disney massive corporation sense. They did this thing, and this is hilarious. I tweeted about it. They're starting a campaign, these group of people, to cancel Disney+. Plus. So they've now resorted to cancel culture because they don't like that Disney canceled someone. Like, do they not understand the irony of them saying, this company did a thing I don't like. Let's cancel them. Like, yeah, you're participating in the marketplace the same way all the rest of us are. You're just being a hypocrite about it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like but this. it's never been that they don't like the fact that there are consequences for people's actions. It's just that they think that the actions that cause the consequences are fine. They just think it's fine. They just like her because she's also a chud. Said, you know, this is Disney taking the path of least resistance. You know, you guys were talking about Yahtzee being used over and over again. It's working. It's absolutely working. The constantly calling us and everyone else yahtzee is started to it's to the point now where these companies i'm assuming that's a dog whistle they're using for nazi because they don't want to use that in the video because they don't want to get demonetized can't even side with somebody who even might be considered somewhat conservative or center now somewhat conservative or center again <laughs> really and the anti-mask? Really? <laughs> what a joke. Because you're bending the knee to Yahtzees. So they're forced to, not to defend Disney, because they probably make this decision anyway. But mm -hmm. now we're at the bottom of the slippery slope after, I mean, just, uh, I, you know, I, I was a little surprised. If the bottom of the slippery slope is that a single actress from Star Wars gets fired or not employed in the future by Disney, why are you so worried about that slippery slope? About, about the firing, but then I'm like, why should I be? After last year and everything we saw in the last month, not surprised at all. And it's unfortunate what she, the way she put her, it wasn't the most graceful analogy in the world, but it was just an analogy and it didn't offend me. <laughs> if something didn't offend me personally, no one else is allowed to think it's wrong. You know, yeah. uh, and not much offends me. I'm sure no one, it, I'm sure it didn't offend you because you're one of the people like that. You're a conservative. You're more than a conservative if you're in this chat, by the way, too, in this live stream thing. Of course you want to compare yourself to Jewish people during the Holocaust. You're perpetual victims. Me, it's just words. Uh, and she's not wrong. She's not right. And, and what many of you said is what happened afterwards. She proved uh, she, she was right. She I don't think wrong. really anybody was offended by it. They just Not being hired by Disney is literally the same as being gassed. Did you know that? A genocide is literally the same as not being rehired by Disney for future projects. They've taken it because they knew they could. Yeah, they'll I just thought... use whatever they can against her at this point. Yeah, thought... Well, that's true. And I mean, that's that's why I said it was a mistake. I mean, when, when you are already being looked at uh, and, and scrutinized and they're looking for any excuse to can your ass, don't do an analogy like... Any excuse... Disney was planning on doing a spin-off show with her. Disney likes one thing, money. Disney likes money. And when you're doing stuff like this and making the company look bad and hurting their public image by being a complete asshole, don't be surprised when they choose not to work with you.
Like, you can be mad. You can be like, I don't like that Disney doesn't agree with me politically. But what they did is fine. You're just mad that the general public doesn't agree with you. You're in the minority politically, and you don't like the fact that the market, which you all slobber over constantly, is now deciding that your opinions kind of make them look bad. Like that. In, in fact, that's my advice for both sides of the political divide. Let's mm-hmm. leave those kinds of analogies off the table because all it does is muddy the water and it ends your argument and the good valid point you're trying to make before you ever get a chance to convey it properly. It, it just yeah. like you, you start along that path. It's people shut down. People get emotional. And, and frankly, it better be a damn good analogy because that's one of the most horrific things in human history that ever happened. And uh, you shouldn't deploy it lightly. But that said, nobody should be canceled for exercising their freedom of speech. It just, yeah. it just, I'm sick of... For the record, this same exact guy... Hold on, where is he? Overlord DVD is this guy. He's Doomcock. He is doing nothing but constantly being like, Kathleen Kennedy needs to be fired. Kathleen Kennedy needs to be fired. Uh, Jody Whittaker needs to be fired because I don't like her. So he doesn't like when someone gets canceled for their abhorrent political opinions. But when someone puts a woman in the Star Wars or the Star Trek, then they deserve to be canceled. <laughs> He's such a hypocrite cancel culture and that is ultimately the point of my first video uh was that look i think that cancel culture is not simply uh attacking our our fandom and stuff it's, it's attacking our very society and it's attacking each of have we not learned that first they come for the d tier star wars actresses and then they come for us People in basements full of action figures that cater exclusively to neckbeard adult man children who are obsessed with Star Wars, a franchise for children. Of us, as 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 sentient human beings, because ultimately they are asking us. They're trying to condition us to censor ourselves, not just our speech, but also our very thoughts, because after a certain point. You get scared to even think certain things, lest it slip out. That's called socialization. You're being socialized. Welcome to society where it's not okay to say certain things that are just dickish. Now, of course, you're free to say those things, but you're going to suffer social consequences for them. As an example, this would be an extreme example. But if you want to go running down the street yelling racial slurs... Like, the police can't arrest you if you're in a public place. You're allowed to say whatever you want. But don't be surprised when you get a reputation and no one wants to deal with you. This is that. There are consequences for your actions. This is not cancel culture. This is consequence culture. Don't be mad that no one except your small group of weird right-wing nerds like your opinions it's fine you still have your youtube channels go and talk your bullshit no one's censoring you they just don't like you in your speech and then you get swarmed by the pod people and the ants on twitter uh i don't give a shit i keep speaking out regardless but that that is a, a chilling effect on on a lot of people and i think it's atrocious what do you think lauren well, I was going to say, like, I, I kind of agree when it comes to, like, Holocaust comparisons. I just don't. Like, I have, like, a little flowchart in my mind. It's like, before you compare something to the Holocaust, <laughs> yeah. is it the actual Holocaust? Yes, right. go ahead. No, just don't. But I guess in defense of the post that she shared, I do, like, mm-hmm. a lot of people are saying, like, you're comparing extermination and genocide to how Republicans are treated. That I mean, if you, like, actually read what she posted that's not it at all she's just saying that you know when you start to dehumanize people who you're it's literally what she's saying the post had a picture the post has a picture of a jewish person running away from attackers during the holocaust like like she's saying very specifically this is a slippery slope 
and conservatives are about to become the new victims of a holocaust from it can lead it can be a slippery slope uh right. where you okay so you understand exactly what she was saying <laughs> you stop caring about them where you know you the hatred grows and so i felt kind of i felt bad for her where it's like you have someone like pedro pascal who is literally using holocaust yeah. comparisons like mm -hmm. actual comparisons and that's totally fine like that's that's what bothered me and it, as it turns out people are okay with calling fascists fascists and they're not okay with calling fascists the opposite of that they don't like when fascists victimize themselves but they do like when fascists get called fascists weird how that works huh obviously they don't care about the double standard, but it's like if you're someone who is not even a conservative, but just a centrist or just not pro woke, I think this should concern you. Like they're, well, they're he called much seven, he you. called seventy five million people Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, and uh, Drury Nitpicker in uh, chat says, "All we did was put a bunch of migrant children in cages. Why do they keep calling us Nazis?" As a Jew myself, it doesn't offend me. I, I know you're not speaking for all Jews, but this is just for you. Is Jeremy actually Jewish? I don't care either way. It's just not something I was familiar with. Uh, because what you said was 100% right. And if you're too stupid to understand what she was saying, that's on you. That's how I felt. Yeah. Jeremy, we're not too stupid to understand. We understand and it's disgusting. Comparing your shitty ideology, your fucking right-wing bullshit to being like a victim of, how do I put this? Considering the real world consequences for your shitty, xenophobic, backwards beliefs and comparing yourself to Holocaust victims because you are facing consequences for what you are doing and saying is disgusting. That's fucked up. That's what she got fired for. Well, I mean, that's yeah. exactly what Jesse Miles. Oh, he was reading a chat message. Gotcha. Milestone said too, and she's you know very open about her Judaism, and she just came out with a video on it as well. Mm. But it's you don't have to be Jewish to look at the tweet and or the post and understand what she was saying. They're just purposely twisting it because they have a goal, they have an agenda, which is to. Why do they think we don't understand the tweet? I don't think they understand the issue with the tweet that we have because we understand the tweet. The tweet itself is disgusting for what exactly they are saying it is. Get her out of there because they don't like her. I mean, if Disney was smart, they should just overall have a no tolerance for any of it because both sides are hurting their business. And yeah. if you want to make- Not really. Like, like corporate brand wokeness. Lindsay Ellis has a really good video on this. Um, does help sell shit. People like to, to give money to companies, not necessarily you and I, because we, I think, see through that shit, and I don't really decide what company I'm gonna, based on that stuff. Um, uh, but, like, that does work on people. They're like, oh, look, they did a, it's Pride Month, and they did a rainbow thing, yay! You know? I don't know. Make money, which I'm assuming they would, uh, they should just, yeah. If you're going to say this on this side, then it equal for the other side, you know? Yeah. yeah and that's, by the way, that's uh, in the order of guests, we got top right. That Star Wars girl, if you're not subscribed to her, please do. Lauren Chen just dropped a brand new video while we're live streaming. <laughs> so you make ch make sure you check that out. She talks about Gina Carano. Uh, and then down on uh, the my lower left, just below me with a slightly better beard, we've got Gary from Nerd Rotic. Uh, in the center, yellow flash on top, and then Doomcock below. Uh, all of these channels are channels that I watch whenever they upload. Um, now, the way, way on the bottom, we've got uh, Adam uh, Krigler. Do I, yeah. do I, am I saying that right? You did. You nailed it. Krigler. I have uh, embraced you in your home. Uh, we have. You have. <laughs> yep, I've seen your, your lady doing laundry. Yep. And uh, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, by the way, thanks for joining us. And uh, he hold on, got... I can't. I have. I can't help but notice that you you said all of them, and then said I watch all of these people's videos, <laughs> and then you introduced me. <laughs> well, Adam, I mean, if I need it to hurts, spot Jeremy. up for you, um, <laughs> no, his channel is Adam Cast IRL. He Thank does a, a live stream <laughs> and also standard, you know, standalone uploads. He also streams on twitch occasionally when he gets expensive new graphics cards oh, <laughs> truth 
Yeah, uh, and uh, I, and uh, I want to add. Uh, uh, sorry, I wanted to add to. Uh, How did they squeeze five hours of a stream out of this? What Lauren was saying, because I was Go listening uh, before you brought me in. Um, I, I, you, you couldn't they all have just gotten online and said like, we actually think conspiracy theories about COVID are good. Wouldn't that be the end of the discussion? Said like, if it, is it compared to the Holocaust? I mean, is it is it the Holocaust? Yes. All right, we can compare it. If not, it isn't. And then, if you really look at what Gina was saying in her in the tweet that that got her fired, you know, the the final straw that broke the the back of her job, essentially, it's comparing to things that are actually happening. People are. <laughs> We're racist, and we believe in conspiracy theories that are dangerous and actively helped foment insurrection against the United States government. We're literally victims, just like victims of the Holocaust, because people don't like our bullshit anymore, guys. Aren't we right? Let's talk about it for five hours. You know, making fun of people and, and reeing at anyone not wearing a mask. Uh, if you're a Trump supporter, you're being you know, corralled into this this group of a terrorist uh, being a patriot now is, you know, she wasn't talking about the Holocaust. She was saying, look what yep. led up to it. Look what. Yes, uh, everyone happened. understands what she was saying. It's disgusting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> happened. Look at history. People and, think and the Holocaust happened overnight. And if no, they don't, Jeremy, you fucking idiot. Forget <laughs> that they had. Wasn't Goebbels the guy, the 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 like the official uh, minister of truth for them, the propaganda guy? Like mm -hmm. they ran a propaganda campaign forever to dehumanize how people saw the Jews. That's to me like how is this not obvious? But of course, Twitter's like, but she thinks she's a Jew in the Holocaust. Yeah, but wasn't it Joe like, Biden that brought that up? Accusing her of thinking she was a Jew, but also calling her anti-Semitic. So it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with the anti-Semitic claim, but if I had to play devil's advocate for for a second, the idea would be that they are denigrating and underplaying the actual impact and severity of the Holocaust on the Jewish community by comparing it to a bunch of shit posters on the internet getting consequences for their actions. That would be where the anti-Semitism uh, uh, claims are coming from. Right. They also said she was uh, I also thought I also think it's hilarious that Twitter just like with Chris Pratt with her they're like, first of all they said well, she's talking about Republicans she never said Republicans and and everyone just assumes and lumps her in as a, a Trump supporter but she again has never been open about her politics she's never been open about her politics hello she's doing the ha ha pronouns beep boop beep thing and she's an anti-masker jeremy what do you think her politics are do you think she's a biden supporter <laughs> so goddamn disingenuous like okay you can make inferences that she's probably at the very least libertarian um <laughs> but it's not like she's posting like i don't know she doesn't post like super conservative stuff really She's working with Ben Shapiro now, by the way. Ben Shapiro hired her. Do you think we can maybe make inferences now, Jeremy? Can we make inferences about her belief system now that she's employed by Ben fucking Shapiro? <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to see what other stuff she's got. Ugh. Jesus Christ, lady. Ugh. Champion. <sighs> like, uh, you know, Bible verses and stuff like that. At least I don't see it. Oh, she retweeted the quartering too? Shocking. She went against no. the narrative. Right. I mean, you could be just a centrist and be classified as, you know, Stalin or something at this but, point. I mean, <laughs> She could even be a classical liberal. Like a lot of the. Wait, wouldn't that 
imply that people are getting accused of being like leftists or communists without justification he didn't say hitler he said stalin the stance yeah. is he's kind of taking like making fun of pronouns i mean people like james Lindsay, peter bogosian like classical liberals who are still on the left they still like kind of oppose this wokeness so who? that's why liberals who are still on the pronouns i mean people like james Lindsay, peter bogosian they're not left i assumed not which is why i'm checking them out <sighs> the chinese can <laughs> classical liberals are just conservatives yeah classical liberals are conservatives who are embarrassed to say they're conservatives or they're trying to shift the overton window <laughs> yeah, this guy is not uh, a liberal. <laughs> and like classical liberals who are still on the left, they still they don't appear to be on the left, guys. Are you shocked? Like kind of oppose this wokeness. So that's why it's like they're literally targeting not just conservatives, not just centrists, but anyone who is not like pro woke which is ironically most people. Yeah. It's like 90% of the population. Yeah. I always, uh, you have I to always... at least act like you're woke or you're gone. <laughs> yeah. What happens I... to look at Chris? Which is why they had this five hour live stream all together and no one can view it. They have no platform guys. They just got to sit here and bitch for five hours and get over a hundred thousand views on this channel alone. I assume this is in all these other people's channels too. So collectively, probably hundreds of thousands of people saw this, but they have no platform, guys. Where are conservatives going to go to be heard? Except for Fox News and most of YouTube and uh, BitChute and and uh, a lot of places on Twitter and uh, 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 Breitbart, uh, Newsmax, One America News. We have no sources of conservative media. Chris Pratt does nothing. Like yeah. he doesn't even have to tweet, and they try to cancel him. Like he's every universally other day. loved. Yeah, and then every like, <laughs> there's a reason Chris Pratt hasn't been fired because he keeps his shit to himself. Like uh, <laughs> because he didn't do this Joe Biden fundraiser. They didn't even invite him. I know. Not gonna make a character bisexual. Yeah, that's how they got back at him. I I I don't, I don't want a tinfoil hat, but it feels like Can't. some writer did that uh, to his character to stick it to. Oh, him. Is maybe it's kind of funny. Did Al Ewing. confirm that he did that on purpose? I don't know. No, it's Al Ewing that, that wrote it. He's he a real piece of shit, Al Ewing. <laughs> Big time. Let me person. uh bring in um uh, one more wonderful guest. By the way, everyone on this panel, I don't know if I have any mods and chats, but it would be awesome if you linked their channels. Um this is uh Al's as from Heels versus Babyface. Uh I'm looking forward to his video game coming out. She's I'm going to skip ahead just to see where the conversation goes over five hours, just because obviously we're not going to sit here for five hours and listen to it. He's been fired for a little while or let go. My guess that, is, that, yeah, that, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And she hasn't given a crap since then. And why should she? Uh, but yeah, when, uh, when I saw that, I was laughing my ass off, actually. And that's why I love her. Uh, you know, it, it's it, it's. Yes, you're absolutely right. It, we have these conversations, and these are conversations people are having in real life. This the Twitter is not real life. Uh, right. In the real world, this crap is not going on. But if you just sit on Twitter all day and watch uh, anything from Hollywood, uh, systematic racism, white supremacy are now just normal things. That's that's exactly what we. That's the these are issues that people deal with. Systematic racism is not something that was conjured up by Hollywood. You idiot. <laughs> society we live you remember when charlottesville happened and that didn't happen no that that happened white supremacy is a fucking problem Vin, uh, remember when a bunch of white supremacists and trump supporters broke into the broke into the capitol building and tried to kill congress people oh it's all just on twitter though don't worry about it idiots uh, and that's why we tr try to continue to call it out and we tried for at least i tried for a long long time and i know a lot of people here did through pop culture it was always mm -hmm. bigger than star wars right mm -hmm. so it was always bigger than doctor who <laughs> 
I keep forgetting that there. this is all at the center of this is fucking Star Wars! St here's, here's my hot take on Star Wars, okay? Are you ready for the take that everyone's gonna hate and people are gonna shit on me for? The vast majority of Star Wars media sucks. Star Wars mostly sucks. They're like, okay, here are the good Star Wars movies. A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back. The Last Jedi. Those are the three good Star Wars movies. There are, there are, there are like 11 Star Wars movies. Three of them are good. The Mandalorian's good. That's it. The rest of the franchise fucking sucks. George Lucas is a hack. I am sick of people pretending like Star Wars is this amazing franchise that there's so much material for. Oh, the universe is infinite and there's so much. No. You know what? No, there's not. There are five planets. There's a desert one. It's either Tatooine or Jakku. There's a, there's a snow one. There's a jungle moon of Endor. That's it. There's nothing. <laughs> Star Wars kind of sucks. Bardlock Moses with a thousand bits says Star Wars sucks. <laughs> Stop bitching about a series that mostly sucks. And here we are. Uh, if this is Dagobah Erasure. <laughs> I didn't name all the planets, okay? There's Dagobah. There's, uh, why can't I, th Coruscant, there's, uh, 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 the planet that Amidala lived on, Cloud City is on a planet, it doesn't matter. I mean, is this the bottom of the slippery slope? I keep saying that, and then we reach a brand new bottom, <laughs> uh, but this was a shift of some kind, right? What happened last night, that, that, I, I don't know what Disney was thinking. Let me be clear. Let me be clear on that. I was being hyperbolic for a second because I think it's funny. I enjoy watching most of the Star Wars movies, but they're not great movies. They're really not. They're fun children's movies that are family movies and you enjoy them growing up and you enjoy them as an adult because of nostalgia and also fun, silly action. That's it. The Mandalorian's an enjoyable series, but it's not, and it's well-produced production value-wise. But it's not the deepest show. It's not like the most artistic thing in the fucking world. It's fine. Again, if they thought that ah, this will be a new cycle to blow over and it still could, but this is going to be a long new cycle. You least. know they wanted this. To, I believe uh, Doomcock dipped. I don't know if he lost the connection or if he had shit going on. By the way, if anyone on the panel has to dip, you know, or whatever, feel free. I mean, I want you to stay, but, um, you know, it's not like I hold a grudge forever and hate you. But the, um, the, you know, I thought it was, I mean, this is a real L for, and again, it feels like it's a conservative L, but I don't even call myself conservative. It doesn't matter if you call yourself that, Jeremy, you're a fucking Trump supporter. Everything you advocate for is right wing. You are a conservative and that's a nice thing to call you. <laughs> that's if we're being generous. You don't have to label yourself for your political affiliation to be understood based on your opinions. Traditionally, anyway. Remember when it was... J when first, it was tit for tat last time. It was, they got Roseanne for a fucking joke. By the way, sorry if this... Uh, Roseanne was one of the wokest shows ever. Like, when that show was on in the fucking 90s, that was the first gay person I ever saw on TV, I think. Yes, and a lot of that happened in the seasons where Roseanne did not have control of the writing staff. The last season of the show is when she had complete control and it was shit. And then she had a ton of control over the Roseanne reboot and it was shit. And then she got kicked off for calling a specific person of a specific racial group a monkey. Rightfully so, she got fired and the show got better. <laughs> After her character was killed off. Thank you. And there were two on that show, right? Her, um, the redhead, and then the mom is eventually uh, a lesbian, um, and and like, Ro and the new Roseanne is like uber ultra double woke, so they fire her. I thought the bitch was white. Fired her, and then uh, we they got her. Then we got James Gunn. They got Gina Carano. 
So no, James Gunn's back. Actually, James Gunn, Gunn because of that right wing smear campaign, got more work than ever. Because now he's working for both DC and Marvel. He's making the new Suicide Squad movie, and he's now coming back to do Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So, thanks, guys, for getting James Gunn more work. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I they mean, brought be... James Gunn back. Yeah, yeah they, they did. did. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, conveniently, they did. But at the time, so do you guys think, oh, Midnight's Edge, if you DM me, dude, I'll get you in here. Um, uh, you know, this question's for um, Anna Yellow Flash and as do you guys think is there is there a retaliation? Do you guys remember that? I think it was Cernovich that was really leading that. Here's all these tweets. I'm going to put an infographic. Yeah, together. I, the argument is also James Gunn is talented. James Gunn got brought back because James Gunn made some of the best Marvel movies. Guardians of the Galaxy one and two. Gina Carano is not getting brought back. She wasn't even good in the role in the first place. She was one of the weaker parts of The Mandalorian. Yeah, uh, all this stuff. Do you think that there will be a strike back? Or do you think that people have just been beaten into acceptance? Um, I think I think Disney have, have caused themselves a, a big problem with this firing. And, and the big problem they've caused themselves is... Everyone is digging up absolutely everything that Pedro Pascal has been doing. Yeah, yep. he's Pedro the one, Pascal, right? And Pedro Pascal has been posting direct uh, Nazi uh, comparative imagery to the United States. Um, ironically for him, bringing up the kids in the cages, it wasn't the Trump administration that made yeah. the cages. Yeah, it was the. And it wasn't even America either. And, and, and the picture Biden. wasn't even in America. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The picture wasn't, but but you know, I I, I still said at the time the symbolism was was yeah. there. Right. Uh, you know, he, it was him trying to to comment on the immigration of America. Um, but yeah, so it was his own ideology that it's that actually brought those cages in. But he made a direct comparison, whereas there was a nuance. There was very much a nuance in the context with what Gina Carano said. They recently hired, of course, um, that uh, Ariel woman and her comments that, that she had with white she's folks. She's a real fucking bitch. Yeah, you just yeah. have to she's think one of the word worst. white to brown, black, yeah. gay, uh, trans, and, and she would have been out the door in a second, in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so Disney, unfortunately for them, fortunately for us, are shining a huge torch uh, on the uh, absolute hypocrisy uh, that's going on within the company. Uh, a company which uh, purposely, by the looks of it, ignored two black males' birthdays in January. Uh, uh, fucking, huge. not just any two black yeah. males. Yep. Huge. James Earl fucking Jones. James Earl Jones yeah. is yeah. 90th, and, and Carl Weathers, who's uh, obviously in the hit show The Mandalorian at the moment, massive guy as well. But they did. I think that it more has to do with the Disney doesn't give a shit about like older actors from the old uh, intellectual properties they own. But who knows? The f I find it funny too that they characterize Disney as so woke, when like the new Star Wars movies aren't even fucking woke. They pay lip service to it, but then like, uh, 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 Finn, who is ostensibly it was like, oh, there's like a, a you know one of the main characters in the new Star Wars trilogy is gonna be. A person of color, isn't that so progressive? And then by the third in the trilogy, he's completely fucking sidelined and no one gives a shit about Finn. Like, the Disney movies aren't that woke. They pay lip service to it in a corporate way. But, as it turns out, they just don't want people affiliated with them that make them look like shit. I don't know. Eyes, uh, Rose Tico's and Captain and Admiral Gender Studies birthday. Oh, thank God. So, yeah. so yeah, so that looked Admiral like Admiral a... Gender Studies is that the uh, purple hair lady that they're so triggered over? A purposeful slight on that behalf as well. It's Their always behavior, on purpose. Course, it's always it has on purpose. To be on purpose because if you if you could... all right, let's skip ahead to see where they get again. We're probably almost done with this bit just because it's just them bitching for five hours, but I find it pretty funny speech and uh just for being an american pretty much um so those of us that can like highlight you know the positives about her or anybody like her speaking out i think uh, i think that's what we can do to kind of thwart the uh the leftist mob i guess
Well, I don't know if everyone here has seen it, but I mean, she went on Drunk 3PO's channel and did three interviews with him. And in yep. you know one of those interviews, she talks about how everything they've said about her, you know, she's not transphobic. She's not anti-mask and how she's actually a huge. She literally posted an anti-mask meme. She's trying to, to save face at this point. Germaphobe. And how she, you know, went over to her mom's house and cleaned it basically with a toothbrush and how she just honestly believes people should be able to have conversations and not have to worry about, you know, getting... <laughs> I just want to have a conversation about my ridiculous right-wing conspiracy theories that endanger the lives of those around me. Can't we just have a conversation, guys? Call the Yahtzee. Always fucking disingenuous. We don't know anything about this Ranger show. Maybe it wasn't her spinoff. Um, because I kept hearing rumors that they were talking about a, G a, a spinoff for Gina, but it, but, but because of the pushback from people, maybe she knew that three months happened. ago. That's, what I'm, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I think, think the, I think that the yeah. guy who signified the whole thing, or that, that was what the guy was signaling with the erasing of her in that poster. Oh. This has been something a long time coming, and I've had people asking me certain questions and saying like weird things that just. I'm starting to to see a bigger picture now. And, and I think Doomcock's right. I think this is very comparable to the James Gunn situation. Oh. Again, no, it's not. James Gunn has a skill set and talents that made them want to bring him back. Only, I don't think she was ever officially even really let go, let go. I just think they just at one point kind of had that conversation that, yeah, you know, we don't have any plans for the character right now. Things are a little... Vadim covered it in a super cut. Brilliant. Vadim always out here Everyone with the good tonight. super cuts. Two minutes. Let's breeze through this, and then we'll move on to the next thing. I think I'm uh, as pissed off as everybody else is. I mean, uh, the hypocrisy. How well, how are you feeling today? Um, You know, I was pretty pissed. And then when I woke up this morning, I was just kind of sad. And then I got pissed again. Yeah, there he is. Oh. Yeah, uh, those are the people that have the one sec. I gotta respond to a message uh, from to them. Uh, we've got too many people. Peens in here. Let's bring in a vagine. Uh, Lauren Chen here. Really? Hey, Lauren. Jeremy. When I see someone get called a Nazi on social media, I'm like, oh, they're they're probably a reasonable person. I think Gina. Oh, yeah. but, I think Gina's a strong woman. I I honestly think there's a good chance she may be watching tonight. But Gina right. Carano just liked a tweet on Twitter. By the way. But I mean, she could even be a classical liberal. Like a lot of the <laughs> <laughs> typical classical liberal. Hating masks, making fun of trans people. You know how it is. <laughs> Classical liberal means fucking nothing at this point. It just means you're a right winger and embarrassed. <laughs> the stance yep. is she's kind of taking, like, making fun of pronouns. She's making it more um, apparent how much they're trying to eliminate freedom of speech. If you're a Trump supporter, you're a terrorist. Like, Remember when the government broke into the Quartering's house and destroyed his computers and banned him from being on the internet? Oh, that didn't happen? I guess your freedom of speech isn't being infringed upon then. I think she's fucked. Now, I think she could make money, look, uh, lifetime. I know people roll their eyes, but I mean, guys like Sorbo and... Um, they fucking make money making these like Hallmark yeah. movies. And then uh, Sarah Silverman, by the way, dumb as a box of rock. They don't That's understand. <laughs> I think Sarah Silverman probably knows where to pee though, Jeremy. She's got one up on you there. No comprehension. Yeah, they're pieces of shit. And then I, I, <laughs> I like, I voted for Obama because I wanted to prove I wasn't racist. Fuck Disney and all globalists. Aaron yeah. Vice says, Gina did not compare shite between Republicans and us. I agree. 
everyone take their pants off and you know it's time it's time you know but also like you know lick the bottom of my ball sack you should watch doom cox i'm sick of cancel culture what was the max views we were definitely over ten thousand for a while Oh my god. <laughs> Good job, Vadim. Good job. So that's the that's the live stream. One it's potty here, but we'll fucking think pathetic about... to be real with you. It's real, real pathetic. And I look forward to future cancellations, folks. Cause I want more of these live streams. Who can we cancel next? Let's just do one for fun. Just as a treat. Who can we cancel? Just for funsies. Who's kind of a piece of shit? Name someone, chat. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Bruce Willis. There we go. Bruce Willis is canceled. No, Shatner. Shatner's canceled. Shatner's an idiot. <laughs> there we go. We said it. Therefore, it's true. That's, I think, how these people think this, how this works. All right. That's uh, this video. Moving on.